hello students in my last class we have discussed about the introduction of trigonometry in that video i have uh, given you some formula like trigonometric ratio we have discussed so today in this video we will be learning how to use your trigonometric ratio in solving your problems so i have taken one problem from your ambos textbook exercise e e question number 1 so if you look at this problem uh, what the have say in triangle ABC, right angle at B, right angle at B, AB is given to be 5, BC is given to be 12, AC is given to be 30, find all the 6 trigonometric ratio of A. So what they are telling, they are telling you to find out what? They are telling you to find out all the 6 trigonometric ratio. So in the last video, we have already discussed what are your 6 trigonometric ratio. It is sine theta, cos theta, tan theta, cot theta, sec theta and cosec theta. So we have to find out all those ratios. So uh, let us construct this problem. Construct means we will try to uh, draw the figure for this. Okay? And I have already told you uh, whenever we are doing trigonometry, we will consider a right angle triangle. So, and here they have said triangle ABC is a right angle triangle. So let me draw one right angle triangle. So you can look here, this is your right angle triangle. Now if you look at the question, they have said that right angle at B. So this is your 90 degree, this will be B. This will be B. And where do we put your A and C? A you can put here or here. It's up to you, okay? If I put it here, it will become A, B, C. If I put my A here, it will become A, B, C. So let me put my A here. So it will become A, B, C. So you have got a triangle. Moreover, it is a right angle triangle, right angle at B. So now, let us see what is given in the quotient. In the quotient, they have said A, B is equal to 5. They have said that A, B is equal to 5. A, B will be 5. Then, what is next? B, C is 12. B, C is 12. So your B, C will be 12. And finally, your AC is given to be how much? 30. AC is given to be 30. Now, next, what they have said? They have said you to find out all the six trigonometric ratio of A. They have asked you to find out trigonometric ratio of angle A. So, you mark this angle. You mark this angle A. When you mark this angle A, that means your theta is here. And in the last video, I have given you the concept of theta and how to identify your base, hypotenuse and perpendicular in case of a right angle triangle. So if you can look here, when you mark your theta here, this will become your base. This will become your base. This will become your perpendicular. And this will become your hypotenuse. So we finish to identify your base, perpendicular and hypotenuse. Now let us come to the solution of this. So they ask you to find out all the six trigonometric ratio of A. They have asked you to find out all the six trigonometric ratio of A. So what are your six trigonometric ratio of A? So the first one is sine theta. But what is your theta? Your theta is angle A, so it will become sine A. What is sine A? P by H. What is the value of P? P is 12. What is the value of H? H is 30. So it will become 12 by 30. So you have got the first trigonometric ratio. So similarly, you can find out the next five trigonometric ratio out here. So let us do it. Cos of A. What is cos of A? B by H. So how much is the base? Base is 5. Hypotenuse is 30. So it will become 5 by 30. Then you do next. It will be your tan A. What is your tan A? B by B. What is your perpendicular? Your perpendicular is how much? Perpendicular is 12. And your base is 5, so it will become 12 by 5. Then next, cot A. 
What is your cot of A? Cot of A is the reciprocal of tan of A. So it will be B by P. So it will become 5 by 12. Then let us go to the fifth one. That will be your sec of A. What is sec of A? Sec A is the reciprocal of cos A. So it will become H by B. So it will become H by B. So what is your H? 13 by 13 by 5. It will become 13 by 5. And finally the last one that will be your cosec of E. Cosec of E. Cosec is the reciprocal of what? Reciprocal of sine. So cosec of E will become how much? Cosec of E will be H by B. So it is equal to H by P. So how much is that? It will be 13 by 12. So these are your six trigonometric ratio. So what you do is that from your textbook you can try question number two. Question number two is very very similar. But one thing you keep in your mind is that how to identify your base perpendicular and hypotenuse. If I ask you in this problem, if I ask you find all the six trigonometric ratio of C. What I am telling? Find all the six trigonometric ratio of C I am telling. Okay? If the question is like that, then you have to mark the angle here. When you mark the angle here, what will happen? Which one will be the base? Your base will be this and your perpendicular will be this. I hope so. This is clear to you. So in my next video, we will be solving some more problem related to your trigonometric ratio, ratio relation and your uh, ratio relation, reciprocal relation, relation. Okay, thank you.